Hey, what's going on, Travis? Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So, guys, I'm going to hit you guys up with um, a video of what you need to let go and surrender at this current um, point in time is. Um, it's going to be a timeless reading. So, when you come across this reading, it's for you. And it's going to be a general reading. So, if you feel that it doesn't resonate, you may want to check out another reader. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. And if any of you are interested in any distance Reiki healing or distance an angelic Reiki healing, you can send me an email or a DM as well. I'm going to put all my information in the drop down menu and at the end of every video. Alright, so let's see what is going on with the collective today, what needs to be released and surrendered. <clears throat> don't know man, the energy just feels so, so weird right now. I don't even know what it is. And there's a lot of, um, purging going on and releasing. But let's see what's going on anyway. The first card is, um, surrender defensiveness. And then the card says, defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate is a more empowered way in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response <clears throat> so sometimes we can get defensive when we get triggered in certain situations but we're being actually being called to um not take defense because it's like a defense mechanism being defensive is like a defense mechanism but um you're being um called to be more communicate instead of be defensive if that makes sense um yeah and be open and communicate more better is what i'm getting for that card instead of being defensive not everyone is out to attack you or have or do you harm sometimes it's just our past experience that um gets triggered and then brought, brings stuff up to us um, in the current moment if that makes sense so that may be um, something that you need to review you may be getting triggered and stuff being brought up to the surface for you to look at in certain situations um, let's see what else is popping the next card is surrender to joy <clears throat> and then the card says a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and sit, savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling <laughs> during both the hard times and the easy times. Keep surrendering to joy. So yeah, um, being called to surrender to joy, um, like I was saying before, you can't take life too seriously. Sometimes things don't always go in our favor, but it doesn't mean we need to always focus on the bad. It's our attachment to the good or the bad that makes the situation good or bad if that makes sense so um yeah be open to to joy um you're also being maybe some of you may maybe being called to work do some work on your solar plexus chakra that's like for willpower happiness um willpower happiness and it's our main powerhouse in this lifetime as well um so if you've got a blockage in your um solar plexus chakra you may be ex like being blocked off to um, feeling um, well the, the, the solar plexus is to do with um, confidence and self-esteem so if you're not feeling good about yourself then you're not going to be feeling good um, in general if that makes sense so yeah um, some of these may have to do some healing on your solar plexus chakra as well again. Right, let's see what else is popping. And the next card is surrender to your soul's path. <clears throat> some of these, well, not some of these, you're being called to surrender to your soul's path. Um, if you're feeling resistance on your path and you're finding a lot of obstacles on your path, then that um, currently means you're on the wrong path. Um, when you're on the right path, things should just go with flow and with ease. There shouldn't be no difficulties. But there's always going to be obstacles on any road that you go on. If the road that you go go on that doesn't have any obstacles, then you're probably the road probably doesn't lead to anywhere. 
So you may be being called to stand in your power as well, um, on your soul's path. So say for instance you're into spirituality and your friends and family aren't into spirituality, you may need to stand up and say, uh, yeah, I do, I, I, I don't believe in what you guys believe in. You know, like say for instance you come from a religious family and you're spiritual but your family's religious. Um, and it's about being kind of confident and saying that like, I don't believe in what you guys believe in but it doesn't make me any different from then you you guys you know if that makes sense because I was born um, brought up Christian and that but even when I was going to church as a kid the the the, the teachings just wasn't sitting with me anyway so it's like yeah this just definitely ain't for me man and then the next card is surrender to play uh, you've been called to um, You take, you're being called to take a break from being in the head. Um, I tend to do this. I'm currently doing this at the moment, should I say. Just overthink um, situations and just overthink in general. Um, and it takes me away from um, the present moment. So, um, yeah, if you feel that you're up in your head a lot, go, go out into nature, get grounded. And, um, yeah, try to find ways of letting, letting your inner child out and learning to play. Life doesn't have to be so serious. Um, most Capricorns we tend to age backwards so when we was younger we was like serious and um, quite rigid but as we age we tend to get more childlike if that makes sense so like yeah where I'm at now I'm like Jesus um, seeing myself as an old man I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be running with the kids and shit well I'll do that anyway but yeah I can see it now fully so you're being called to surrender to play do stuff that makes you happy um, find time to um, do things that you used to like doing as a child um, yeah life doesn't have to be so serious it's got to be balanced man it can't be all work and no play it's got to be about balance man so do what makes you happy and find um, yeah time to play man and that doesn't mean just going out and getting pissed on the weekend it means actually finding like a hobby that you can enjoy and play with and that's also not gaming either for those people out there. Like skateboarding or something, like do, like rollerblading, BMXing, um, bloody um, free running. I don't know what you guys like to do, man. You just need to find it. Connect with your inner child and find what you like to, used to like to do. Because that's what we're trying to get back to. And then the card is surrender to receiving support and love. <coughs> So yeah, you're being called to it. Some of you, yeah, you've got, some of you's got a blocked heart chakra and not allowing love in. Or love may present itself and because you've got a closed heart chakra, you may be pushing love away. Um, and not everyone is there to, don't take people for advantage as, as well. If people show up into your life and just from past experience, you may have bad past experiences, doesn't mean this, the, um, the new people that you're going to meet are going to be the same. Don't put everyone into the certain category. Um, but be open to support. Like You don't have to do it all on your own. So if you're struggling with something, not struggling, but say for instance you've got kids and um, you're doing all the housework, all the housework, and they're kind of of age, you can ask them to help out because they also live there. Once you share their load, it makes your load easier to manage. Um, Some of you need to be work on your heart chakra. You've got love coming in or someone's trying to be loving towards you and you may not be open to love. Or um, not being open to receive love. Mm, very interesting. Yeah, be open to the receiving love and support, man. People are there to help you. Not everyone's there to attack you in that, guys. Let's see what else is popping. And the next card is surrender to prayer. Um, so yeah, whatever your whatever your current situation is, whether you're worrying, whether you're anxious, whether you're finding difficulty, financial, um, having health problems, pray about it. Talk about it with your angels. Um, uh, I was watching one video and they was talking about prayer is um, conversating with the higher forces about your current situations and when you meditate is that when you, is when you get answers so you guys may want to check that out also and um, yeah 
yeah, once you ask, when, once you pray about something, the universe will be, um, will deliver, um, deliver it, whether it's, um, but it will only deliver where, if it's for your highest good. Um, and also pray in the, the good times as well, not just the bad, because we tend to just pray when something, things ain't going our way or we want stuff. Um, when sometimes we want stuff and sometimes we only pray when it's the bad, um, the bad times or whatever but learn to pray when it's the good times like oh yeah just saying thank you and being grateful because um, things could be a lot worse off and people would some people would love to change trade their situation for your situation just remember that at any point in time yeah some people got a lot worse man let's see what else is happening and then you've got surrender your ego. <clears throat> so some of you's ego is getting in the way of situations and certain things. So say for instance, um, getting the ego. I'm getting the heart chakra once again, man. Some of you's may be um, um, some of you's may be. Having in that battle with your ego, head over heart kind of situation. Um, well, your ego is just getting in the way and blocking you in general, is what I'm getting. Um, so maybe your ego is running the show, and when the spirit is actually meant to be running, running the show. So your ego may be, may be blocking you, man. What I'm getting is your ego is blocking your blessings from coming in. Um, So well, I'm getting, I'm getting, for some reason I'm getting a love situation popping up. Someone may be trying to be open hearted to you and um, you're just closed off from it. Maybe because you've got a closed heart chakra you're not open to love. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you need to surrender and let go of the ego because the ego is not your amigo and it's going to get in the way. It's, it's, the ego always gets in the way. <clears throat> and it's going to stop your blessings from coming in as well let's see what else is popping and you've got <laughs> surrender frustration <clears throat> um, fun enough I'm popping up in this reading as well it's really interesting um, so Um, frustrate we could I'm getting more yeah I'm getting ego it once again man um, feeling frustrated is like things not working how we want them to work um, but things don't always work how we want them to work um, so if you feel that is happening you need to recenter um, <clears throat> and let things unfold as they should. Yes, it's okay to get pissed off and frustrated by certain situations, but certain things ain't always out of our, certain things are out of our control. And sometimes we can um, get frustrated about situations, but sometimes it can be a blessing in disguise is what I'm getting. So if you're trying to, if you feel that you're having to force things to work, um, maybe that's the wrong path for you is what I'm getting. Um, but yeah, if you're finding that you're yourself getting frustrated, um, take a step back and try to get centered. And um, yeah, try to get centered and try to detach from the situation that's causing you to be frustrated. Um, <clears throat> so you can recenter, calm down, and then um, then 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 take things from a different point of view and not get frustrated. You don't want to get frustrated by certain situations and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's just the ego thing. Yeah, that's all ego. So it's okay to get frustrated at times when things don't work out, but um, sometimes they can be blessing disguises and stuff, man. So yeah, try to be open-minded. Um, and if you're feeling frustrated by certain situations, try to step back 
step back, disconnect and take a breather and recenter and then try to approach the situation at a different angle. And the next card is um, non-action. So um, yeah, for whatever situation that you're currently in, you're being called to um, don't act on the situation, just observe. Um, sometimes we can feel to act, feel that we want to act on the situation because maybe we get frustrated, we feel to act out on that situation. But you're being called to just um, sit back and observe and kind of just go with the flow. Um, yeah, because sometimes we tend to act before we think. Um, and that doesn't isn't always the best when we act and without thinking. Um, funny enough, I'm popping up in this region as well, which is interesting. Um, the frustration and non-action popped up today, and I've I've I managed I've um, had both of them come up, which has triggered my ego. <laughs> so yeah, I'm popping up in this region as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just telling you um, what the reading's saying because um, there's a general reading I'm popping up in as well so I've experienced some of this today as well and um, yeah try to not react sometimes it's best to observe if you feel you're getting triggered by certain situations um, you don't need to react to it straight away you can take a step back take a breather and then um, come back to it when you're feeling more out of a calm place because if you're feeling um, agitated frustrated um, agitated or frustrated you may approach the situation um, in a different way than how you would have if you was calm if that makes sense um, <clears throat> I'm going to call, call one more card as well Let's call, what's the last card ah, and then the last card is obsessive thinking <clears throat> so you need to get out of your head a lot um, try to find ways of distracting yourself um, yeah try to find ways of distracting yourself um, if you feel that you're up in your head a lot it may be due to the energies I don't know why I've just been up in my head a lot of recent as well so I've been needing to I've been slacking actually from coming out and getting grounded but I need to do that more often when I feel up in my head a lot I need to be out in nature and grind the energy down um, and you're also being called to turn over whatever you're over thinking about over to spirit um, take them get clarity and resolve the problem um, yeah and try some of you may need to journal or write down about your problems um, and you can talk to trusted friends or family members about your, your problems um, if they're trusted yeah to just get different views on it because you can get different views you can have a situation happen and um, you can act on it but if you get different views from different people you can get a better understanding of it and then find ways to act in that situation um but yeah this is more of an ego reading man or just yeah just cut yeah it's very interesting but um yeah whatever situation you're in my main advice would be to surrender to non-reaction so you don't need to react to a situation just take the situation as it comes and when you're in a better um more calmer um relaxed state of mind then you can act but don't don't act out of frustration um or anger is what I'm getting for getting for this reading. Anyway. Pretty cool reading. Pretty cool reading. A lot of things kind of going on at the moment um, for the collective, I guess. But um, yeah, it's the, yeah, it's more ego. It's more the ego reading. But yeah, it's not. It's a good reading. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah guys. Um, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe. Don't be shy, and make sure you hit that little bell thingy so when I do a video, you guys can be informed because the algorithm on all social media is just deaded, like all the censorship and all that crap. Um, so that kind of sucks. Um, and I'd appreciate if you guys hit the like button if you feel the reading resonated for you, and also um, if any of you want want a personal reading, you can send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. And um, yeah, I'm gonna hit you guys up real soon with another reading. Um, a channeled message or a life lesson that I'm experiencing at the current time but peace, love and night tribe and I'm going to hit you guys up real soon